Love Island 2018 is back, with the new contestants entering the famous ITV2 villa to battle it out for the £50,000 prize. New housemates include Kendall Ray Knight, who was previously engaged, model Ail Booker, who was previously in a band, and Dr. Alex George, who has a very impressive career. Whoever wins the show is awarded with the prize money, which they can either steal for themselves or share with their partner. But one thing viewers are always dying to know is if the contestants are initially paid to go on the show. The answer may surprise you, but last year it was rumored to be nothing. The likes of Olivia Atwood, Montana Brown and Marcel Somerville did not get paid to appear on the hit reality TV show in 2017. However, this year a source told The Sun, all the islanders are getting £200 a week to be on the show. If you break it down to how many hours they're filming every day it's absolutely nothing. But they know the end goal is mega money and fame. If they win, it could be £50,000 they leave with or £25,000 if they split the pot. Then they'll make loads off the back of magazine deals and sponsorship. They're all prepared to take the hit now because this time next year they could be rolling in it. If true, broken down this would mean the contestants get £2.80 an hour. However, due to the show's popularity, the stars normally go on to continue their fame in other industries. For example, Olivia Buckland from Series 2 has gone on to release her own clothing and swimwear lines as Katie McDermott specializes in her by Katie makeup range. A lot of the stars can also earn money after the show from PAs in clubs around the country and through magazine cover deals. Thank <laughs> you.